I finally got a new chair and it is awesome. Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Chris Gaysford and in this video we're gonna get back into Home Assistant. I know two Home Assistant videos within a week it seems pretty crazy but I do want to upload more videos for you guys so hopefully this is just a thing that just happens now. If you haven't seen my last video yet, it's about adding a Simply Safe integration to your Home Assistant. Definitely check it out. Um, there'll be a card up in this corner. Um, hopefully, it's a great video for you guys and something you would be interested in. Um, if you're curious, that is just a bunch of gargly gook, so do not even worry about it there. Um, but in this video, because we did work on our Simply Safe integration yesterday, I want to go ahead and talk about zones in Home Assistant. So if you don't already know, Home Assistant has an app for your phone. And if you haven't set that up or configured it, I would highly recommend it. Um, if you're not using the built-in Nabu Casa integration, um, it might be a little bit harder and um, you'll probably have to open up some ports on your firewall and stuff like that to access it from outside your home, which you normally would have to do through a web browser anyways. But if you are using the Nabu Casa URL, um, just download the official app off the Play Store and just plug that URL in there and you are good to go. But what zones do is they allow you to set certain areas such as your home, your work, the store, <laughs> um, wherever you really want to. And, and the Home Assistant app will actually see your location so it knows whether you're in or out of these zones. And you can actually program automations and stuff like that using these zones. And so what's unique about this, especially with something like Simply Safe, is when it sees that you leave a zone, it can actually turn on your security system. And so that's why I wanted to go ahead and make this video next. All right, so here we are back in Home Assistant. Just a quick note on the Simply Safe that we set up last time. This custom bypass doesn't disable the alarm. Um, so you could go ahead and turn that off if you would like to. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove it from my card personally. And there we go, that just looks a lot cleaner. Okay, so to actually get started with zone, it's pretty simple. Um, so what we're gonna do is if you come over here to the left hand side, we have a map section. And right here you see this P2K. And if we hover over that, it says the Pixel 2 of Chris. And that is because I have set up the Home Assistant app on my phone. So it actually knows where I'm at in the world. And this is where I'm at. So pretty useful, um, but currently I'm not anywhere. Um, I'm not in a zone, I'm, I'm not at home, I'm not doing anything. So um, if we actually click on the edit button in the top right hand corner, it'll actually take us to our zones and it's gonna take me to this home location by default. And this home location is actually in Amsterdam, which it thinks my home is. Um, and it's pretty easy to go ahead and modify this home section you actually just come over here you click and drag on the home and you can move it around so since i don't live in amsterdam i'm going to go ahead and zoom out i'm going to go ahead and zoom out till i can see the united states and then i'm going to go ahead and drag my home all the way over here i'm somewhere in this area and um, then you start to zoom in and i'm over here in utah so we'll just go ahead and drop my home there in utah and there we go and once i'm in this blue circle radius, which seems to be in a mountain somewhere, I would be home. Um, and these are pretty easy to add and modify and do stuff like that. Um, so to add more, you just click add zone over here. And then by default, so trying to add this on top of where my home location is. Let's just go ahead and drag it over a few bunches and we'll call this oh, that's a bad name all right so we're gonna go ahead and call it area 51 hit create and then yep so we have our home here and then we have area 51 there and so you notice something different about this second area. So because it's not considered a home, um, I get to just define the, the size of the radius of it. So what we can do is we could actually click on this guy and we can make it bigger, smaller, or anything like that. So if I wanted to just take this guy 
and make a zone called Utah for the entire state of Utah. Um, that is something I could actually do. And so let's say there's stuff I only want to happen when I'm in Utah. Maybe I travel a lot and that's just something that would be interesting to me. Um, I could go ahead and do that. Um, so maybe we'll edit this name and change it from Area 51 to Utah. So now I have a zone for Utah and I could set up automations around that. So let's go ahead and actually take a look at that. So if we head over to our configuration and automations, um, you can see our one automation we've created from last time. We're gonna go ahead and add a new automation here. Um, and then there's a few different ways to create automations. Um, we're gonna go ahead and look at this one. And I'm gonna say, since my name is Chris, when Chris leaves home. And we're gonna go ahead and create that and it's gonna notice that we're talking about a person and we're just gonna select my person as Chris, create the automation and let's just go ahead and walk through this. So when Chris leaves home, it has a trigger of a zone and it says zone home leave. So it says, my, hey, my home zone, when I leave it, I want you to trigger this automation and it knows who I am by this person, which is tied to my device. And so we'll come over here and we'll hit delete on this current action here. This is just a little notify action. And what we're going to do is because we set up the Simply Safe integration last time and because it's actually a useful automation to have, we're going to go ahead and arm our home alarm panel or our Simply Safe system for away when I leave home. And just like that, we'll go ahead and press save. And there we go, there's our automation. And so hopefully that shows you how useful zones could be. Um, I don't wanna dive too far into this because they're really not super complicated and I don't wanna overcomplicate it. I know for the longest time I avoided touching zones at all costs when I first started using Home Assistant, but um, especially with their new mobile app out there, it's super easy to actually use them. Go ahead and start playing with them and check them out. And that's going to be all for this video, guys. I know it was a super quick one. Um, hopefully that's all right with you guys, just straight into the point. Um, if you liked this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up on the channel. Um, I would really appreciate it. And if you like these type of videos, subscribing would be pretty nifty. And if by the time I've uploaded this video, it's already been announced this Friday, um, so two days from now, three days from now, depending on when this gets uploaded, I have been invited to talk with Gio from the channel Smart Home Makers. Um, if you've never heard of that channel, definitely go check it out. He's a much better YouTuber than I am, so if you like my content, you're definitely going to like his. Um, but me and him are going to do an hour or so conversation on Friday, um, roughly around 2.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. But as always, guys, thanks so much for watching this video and trying to improve your smart home, and I will see you in the next video.